measuring the FT240-43. How do you create the best choke for the short wave with the Amidon Fairride FT240-43? Hi, I have measured my FT240 course and I wanted to know with how many windings I get the best choke. In general, if you try more windings, the choke should get better. But that is not true. I made different tests with RG58, RG400, H155, Ultracell 7 and then I have tried to connect them together. Or tried to use more than one core. So in most cases, after 5 to 8 windings, you will change the highest impedance point to the lower bands. But the efficiency of the choke on the higher frequencies will get worse. And now comes the important message. It does not make sense to turn the cable more than 8.5 times around the core with Ultracell 7. With H155 you should not turn the cable more than 9.5 times around the core. With RG58 you see that more than 15 to 16 windings do not make sense. The 61 material is not good. Maybe you can try to use material for the 50 meter band and the higher frequencies with less windings. To get a better choke for the low bands you have to combine two FT43 ferrite cores together. A combination of more ferrite cores does not make the choke always better. G3TXQ has done some interesting measurements. And he's a silent key, but his measurements are still interesting for the ham community. So you see here the results of G3TXQ in a bar chart. In the area where the bar is green and where we see a bold line that is the frequency where we have good choke for this frequency. So if you summarize his results, air coils are really good but only for the resonant frequency and only for one band. The 61 material is not very good for the short wave. The 31 material is not very good for the short wave only for the lower frequencies of the short wave. The 43 material is really good, but you should not turn too much cable around the core, else you will get a choke only for the lower frequencies. The combination of two 43 cores and nine windings with RG58 creates a wonderful choke. The 52 material is good and you can create a choke out of it, but not for the lower frequencies. So from my point of view, we should keep in mind that first, there is a maximum number of turns if we want to get a good broadband choke for many shortwave bands. Second, we still should use the 43 material if we want a broadband choke for the shortwave. Third, we should not combine different material. If we want a better choke, we can combine two 43 ferrite cores together. So, yeah, that's it. Hopefully it was interesting for you. Have fun with our hobby. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. 73, your Delta Charlie 3, Tango Bravo.